Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about new keyword or new modifier in Seesaw.net. So, this is the all point I created. So, here about to new modifier. The new keyword modifier explicitly hides the member of inherited from the base class. So, whatever the member that to inherited from the base class that hide by using new keyword. And hiding inherited member means that drive version of a member or that replace base version. So see by example. So right here I am going to write to simple program. So going to create a class. The name is giving form. And here I'm going to take protected static tag variable giving name in x so at a initializing the value of x with left hand and here yeah, protected one more time standing in here yeah, y initializing with 78 now here after take one more class the class name giving at your second so that inherit the member of first class and here yeah. so I am using new keyword at your new public here yeah. static here yeah. in x so giving the x value is now 66 Now here also let's go to main method and here yeah, going to print the value of x and here yeah, console dot right line printing the value of y. So this is the example there I'm using new keyword. So new keyword add here. So see add here in class first one member x is and here in all class second the member x also there. So both member are x available in or base class as well as drive class. So if this kind of situation comes, so use new keyword. So new keyword or uh, that height. Here, yeah, hiding inherited member or derived version of member replace the base version. So, if you execute the code, so add here that display x, so this one, not of this one, and here yeah, y, that one. Execute the code. So, see at here, yeah, it's uh, displaying 66, and here yeah, y, this one, 78. So if you are not using at your new keyword and uh, execute the code, so output will be same. Output here I am getting the same. Uh, but the thing says here, see, x. So use new keyword if hiding was intended. So this is a warning I am getting at your use new keyword if hiding was intended. So here we need to use new keyword to hide. So uh, if you like to uh, print the hiding member of uh, first class, so you need to do at your right to console dot right hand. So you need to write at your first and your x. Now you can print hidden member. So you need to write at your give the reference class a uh, class reference so class name is first then you know, that the output come 15 so add here 15 so this is the things add here x x both our uh, class and you are using inheritance so inheritance means uh, or whatever the property of base class that inherited by drag class so second class they tag all the property of first so x property 15 add here this print 
So if you are going to give at your x1 and uh, your x1, so this will print at your. So both two are different this times. So that print 15 uh, here and x value 16 here, y value 15. So 66. So for this one here, y. Uh, 78 here x150 so at here I'm getting the masses at here the new keyword is not required so at here if the variable or member are different so new keyword not required so this is the things about new keyword so if uh, both are same or uh, members are same so you need to use new keyword So this is the example and here this is the important point about new keyword. So adding member without using new keyword so that will generate the warning I discussed and here new keyword modified explicitly hide the member inherited from the base class. So that in hide the member of base class and hiding inherited member means that derived version of member that replaced. So derived version so drag class member that replaced base and here I have written one more example so you should try this also the same thing here public class first here Sam so Sam class is in here in first class and here in second class so here this time using multiple members so multiple member that height so if the matching things come then that height so x else here x here so this will height here the output will display 66 and here the y so y at, at here 77 and here y so if i did not initialize the value then that print the value 0 so if you are going to print the value of y so that print the 0 and here new keyword and you creating an object of overlapping class so this is overlapping class exam is the overlapping class here and here both way both a place and you're creating an object from the hidden member so this is the first dot sam so first class and your sam object is two. and you can call s1 dot x so that print so s1 is the object of a sam class and her x so that print here 66 not this one because that height so this is the second example so i hope guys you understand the uses of new keyword in csr.net so if you have any difficulty or if you have any problem related to this leave your comment definitely i will reply so now in this video it's all so thanks for watching see you next week thank you